Hi, this is Paul Dysart with Alpha Rain. I want to talk about a W Valley we did in Fairfax, Virginia. Okay, so a traditional valley on a metal roof normally looks like this. Uh, you got your bend, and then you just got these two little flares. And then basically, if these are your metal roofing panels, you're going to bend them over, and they're going to fit in. Now, the problem with that is, which you can't really see normally, if you were to look underneath the roof, look at that. In between the panels, you can see daylight. Okay, that's a problem. Even if you bend these down flat and really lock this in as tight as you can, when you have your snow sitting here, or even on a heavy rain, right in between, you see right there, is going to be your weak spot. It's going to be right in between these. There's going to be a little tiny hole, and water is going to have a tendency to actually wick back up underneath. And then, basically, once it wicks past this part here, where does it go? It goes into your house. Now, some guys will say, oh, I put ice and water shield. I put a lot of underlayment. It's protected. That might be so. Maybe you won't have any leaks. Maybe you will. In our experience of doing metal roofing for over 20, uh, well, 15 years solid, just specializing in metal roofing, doesn't matter. <laughs> you're going to get some leaks. Um, we started trying to figure out how could we could do a valley that wouldn't even let it get to the underlayment. The problem is when it gets to the underlay underlayment, if you have... Um, Hole, you know, you have holes in the underlayment where you have the penetrations of nails, screws, whatever's holding it down, staples. So, we designed and developed a W Valley. Let me show you a bigger one. Okay, this is full size. Okay, this is the valley part that you see. So then you take your panels, you install them like so, and then guess what? If you look from this angle, you see the daylight there? Well, how, how can the water and the snow get up to leak? It has to get onto this and then go all the way up. We have over five inches of protection here. When we started installing these valleys on our metal roofs over about seven or eight years ago, we haven't had any leaks in our valleys. With all the snow that we've had even this year in 2014, uh, all the snows in 2009 it were three foot, 2010, we didn't have any leaks. So that's what a W Valley is. We install them uh, in Fairfax. We install them all in Northern Virginia, Central Virginia. Everywhere we do valleys when on our metal roofs, we do this. Now the problem is if you've got a, metal, a guy who's doing metal roofing but only does it a couple times, if he's got an electric brake, good luck trying to bend this. It, it can't be done. you got to do it on a handbrake, and you got to have skilled guys that know actually how to do this. It took us a while to actually figure it out. But anyways, uh, check us out on the web. I'm going to do one, a video on our little sample here. Just got these in. Just made them, actually. Um, how ventilation works with our fancy thermovent panel. Check us out. You can give us a call, 540-222-1642. Online, alpharain.com. Check out our blogs. I'm going to blog about this and explain a little bit more about W Valley. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thanks very much.